but money is a major issue, so you already know what time it is. But I ain't gonna lie, you gotta have some balls, you gotta have some heart, you gotta have some brains, really. But I call it a three piece because this shit get rough out here. What's up, y'all know? What's up, my nigga? You good? Tana, oh, hold up. I'm to get you a little for that whole oh, fuck car shit, but I ain't got nothing. Fuck it. You making a video? Yeah. Tanner, what up? It's an art. It's a real art, man. You know what I mean? Everybody love it. Everybody get together when you cook barbecue. That's how you bring everybody together. If you ever want to see a cry, cook some good barbecue. You'll see them coming. set of minorities, thinking they, they they better than another set of minorities, right? All of a sudden, right? Because now they got political power, they got a lot of, you know, they got influence in this city, you know? And it's a lot of hypo hypocritical shit. Like, all this time and all this history of so-called Hispanics in some type of way was, you know, in some type of way, shit, we black, we just like y'all, but at the same time, you come to see, a lot of them don't really feel like it. A lot of them feel they above, and a lot of them really, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they straight up racist, man. And that's really all the gentrification that's happening in Miami. It's, it's being done by, you know, nine, nine times out of 10, the Hispanic population. So, I was a six time football superstar, and somebody tried to wipe me out over some hatred. My survivalness couldn't walk, talk with brain surgery. This nigga finna bust one, nigga snap. Nigga, let me hear this shit, nigga. Let me hear this shit, nigga. Bitch, I'm down bad. Tell that bitch get off my dick. 40 acting like Bruce Lee. I swear that bitch that got a kick ain't never in no cover three. 40 trying to send a blitz through the Tesla back. Autopilot, that bitch drew me to the moon. Free Do this, cause you know, I recently lost my second half. My brother video no shake. So, uh, shout out to my nigga Dizzle. Artist from Miami doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? We do a lot of work in Miami everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Historical uh, pioneers of Miami. And I guess we done made it to that plateau because just like when our album covers from Play With It and Old Times kind of like appreciating it more than I thought they would. So take a look at it, y'all know? And that's me. And we got the talents for life in the middle. Take it out here to my brother, man. I missed this nigga, he died January this year. What's up, my nigga? All right, all right. Let's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. You see, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you back, bro? Hey, hey, gonna say, hey, hey. Well, we was filling the wall, right? Oh, they called him. They called the police while we were doing the wall like we were doing it for Rome. I guess the owner ain't know we had holler at the other owner, bro. So we, he pulled up on it. He pulled up. <laughs> nah, he pulled up the same one right there. You see, he said, so y'all got a situation? I'm like, yeah, you see it, baby. And that's what we do, baby. Turn up, full life. <laughs> y'all know. How you doing, baby? Hey, yo. Hey, man. What she went at? What's up, Ma? Get my check, baby. What's up, Ma? Duper? Thought you wanted to run it. <laughs> Let me do some karate on the motherfucker right quick, man. God damn, you holding me up. On me! <laughs> yeah, I know! <laughs> we all we got. I'm feeding somebody in my hood. I'm supposed to feed my hood. But as long as we feeding the hood, it's all good. Hey, yo, let me get my money, lady. Y'all know. Ah, ah, hit it with the ah, 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 hit it with the ah, 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 hit it with the ah, 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 ah. Let me get my money, lady. Yeah, 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 Oh, 
take to survive in Miami what does it take to survive in Miami what it takes money <laughs> and lots of it huh? <laughs> well that's that's the number one like Miami is uh, money is a major issue so you already know what time it is but I ain't gonna lie you gotta have some balls you gotta have some heart you gotta have some brains really but I call it a three-piece because this shit get rough out here what's up y'all know what's up my name you good Tana, oh, hold up. I put gave you a little nuggets for that um, what car shit, but I ain't got nothing. Oh, fuck it. You making a video? Yeah. Tana, what like? Y'all know. Dog had to show me that report card. You know, he got. I do him like that. They show me that report card. If I ain't good, I break him off a little bread. You know. Mm -hmm. But like I said though, this Miami shit ain't no joke. No peaches, no cream. No Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> what that is it? What up, big Yeah. Let me hear it. Snap. Snap. I'm so unusual. I'm not your original. I'm so unusual. I'm one of, is, is. one of a kind. One of a kind. What? What? Yeah. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Black is God. Kings. Where is our queens? Right here. Yeah. Mm. What? They kind of. I don't think y'all ready. <laughs> I'm gonna put y'all up on some shit. Talk your, talk your shit, shit. We lie till we die. Cook a nigga in grease like fries. Tell him you still alive or you just die. Get it or live. How do you live if you gonna get it? It's just a struggle. The battle's always on every day. When you wake up, you struggle to get out of bed. This is a fight. You ball up your fist and fight back. You just don't, don't take them licks. You gonna fight back or you gonna get your ass whooped. I don't know which one it's gonna be. I love my hood. Yes, I love it. Sent O.T. Tana for oh, life. I'm Tana for oh. life. Yeah, yeah we, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that boy gonna have a super documentary. Uh-huh. <laughs> we outside, man. Hey, Poo-Poo. 
You looking at me lusty just then. She don't know I get horny fast. <laughs> so what is it like growing up in Overtown? Boy, it was a hell of a hood now, right? Well, it's kind of it's kind of light now. But back when I was younger, you know, it's the home of the Overtown riots and all that. You know, Neville Johnson McDuffie. You know what I'm saying? So I just seen heads on a stick when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? It was right the scene, hamburger meat in the middle of the street and stuff like that, bro. Like, this shit get gruesome out here, bro. Like, like, uh, it used to be segregated with different hoods. You know what I'm saying? Like, over town, like, even over town, like, we got like hundreds. What's up, brother? You good, nigga? What's up? Love, bro. What's up? For life. For life. Like, nigga got 1700, 1900, uh, uh, 2nd hundred, this, that, that. So, shit got. Shit get rough, dog. Like, Bucktown won't fuck with 1915, the swamp don't fuck with this and that, that. So, it was segregated until we get out of town, then everybody stick together, you know what I'm saying? Basically, that's what it is. And, um. Hey, lady, you got my shit? I always got this. I have my nipple on hard. <laughs> <laughs> search my name. My name is Deathlock Piccolo, one half of Piccolo. I recently lost my second half with Speedo No Shake. Together we are Piccolo. Professional, intelligent, cash, collected, advanced, lyrical, oh my God. So, I just dropped, uh, our first album is Everyday Reality. Y'all go check that out, screaming everywhere. And I just dropped our second album again. It's called Call Before You Walk. Then slash from that, you can go type me in, Deathlock Piccolo, D-E-S-L-O-C, P-I-C-C-A-L-O. Different elevator styles, live, over town, created, professional, intelligent, cash, collected, man, lyrical, oh my God. If y'all wanna know what it means. So and how much has music changed since when you first started doing music? Drastically. All right, love you too, bro. Drastically because once upon a time, once upon a time, dog, music is to teach and uplift and, and build up minds and shit, bro. But right now, it's, it's all drill, drill. And, and get high and, and, and shit like that though. Like bought them kind of ways though. Hey, 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 can we all get along? Can we all get along? Where's the love? I don't know. Where's the love? They make people don't love you. Where's the love? You need a hug? They make people don't love you. You need a hug? See, you gotta get some love to you first. Talk, talk your shit, nigga. Let them know who you nigga. is, nigga. Talk your uh -huh. shit, nigga. <laughs> Straight money wise, we can do it like always. You know that? 
Everybody out here talk they shit, don't say shit. That's my hood. <laughs> you feel me? The historical overtime. Overtime was a was a historical village, like say like it was like the Black Harlem back in the day. Uh historical overtime where I'm from like back in the day it was like like the Black Harlem and shit. Like, like really what South Beach is, it's like Third Avenue to script, like you know what I'm saying, had all the the celebrities back in the days coming through, we had hotels and things lined up like that and so forth. You know what I'm saying? It was a big black mecca once upon a time, baby. but now it's just a historical village, you know what I'm saying? But it get greater later. I'm gonna represent it to the day I D.I.E., just know that, <laughs> in real life. <laughs> and whenever y'all need some good old barbecue, y'all cut to my brother, shake it, take it for the sake of y'all over there, show y'all what delicious look like. <laughs> You feel me? We outside. Turn up. Oh. What you want to do, nigga? What you want to do, nigga? You scared? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Every time we see each other, we bumping like right, rams. Right, yeah. right, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'll okay. give you one. I'll give you one. Hey, homeboy. See, I was looking for you to cut my hair yesterday. You went here? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, nigga. <laughs> Y'all see the amazing second take? Y'all see that now? It's so fun. The way you eat good at That's a delicious cup for the right there. You see that? About time, yo. <laughs> you want me to get out? I got, I got, I got okay. Y'all know? Oh, they my, they my neck right here, the cool ass nigga right here. Young nigga. You know Maxine? You know Maxine? This my brother yeah. in my house yeah. right here. You came to my mama's house before. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is ass nigga right oh, here. <laughs> Chilling. No. Uh, this is it. Sorry, we're going to be done. Hell no, nah, nigga ain't signing with no Dookie Diaper. Sign with Dookie Diaper, I'm guaranteed to wipe your ass what clean. What you gonna do? Guaranteed to wipe your ass clean. Dookie what? Dookie Diaper Record, entertainment and record. <laughs> Sign with Dookie Diaper, we guaranteed to wipe your ass clean. Hold on, hold on, we gonna pay for that. <laughs> Dookie Diaper, Dookie, Dookie Diaper, Dookie Diaper, say, Dookie Dookie Diaper say they were here before uh, Bad Boy. Yeah. <laughs> P. Diddy hey. tried to buy her shit. When he heard the dookie. What nigga you know get it? Hey. P. Diddy tried to buy it when he heard the dookie. I need he it. He liked it. You gonna help me out? The nigga fucked me up, but you can bring me back. Right? Today? I don't know. I'm not too cute to be brought back today. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Cold water. Like so how does it you? feel when you when you inside the hood and everybody showing you love like that, man? Well, I ain't gonna lie, it used to be amazing once upon a time, but now I'm kind of immune to it now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At uh, once I used to be like, hey, damn, they think I can like that by me? By little old me? But, you know, they love what they love, they hate what they hate, so it is what it is. Let me get one, Alea. Let me get one. So, I appreciate my hood, I love them back. Cause they, they, if they fuck with you, they fuck with you. If they don't, they not, you know what I'm saying? That's why I love my hood so much. Ain't gonna be no, no faking. If they don't fuck with you, they not gonna fuck with you. But if they do, they do. And they, like, if they love you, they love, like, you know, we love hard, so. A nigga love you, nigga love you hard, bro. Like, boy, a nigga gonna blast for you, like, whack for you, go, go to the death together. Other than that, nigga, this shit cut though, bro. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you done saw? Like, what, what you mean? Like, what's the craziest thing you saw, like, inside a neighborhood? I done seen a lot of crazy shit, boy. I done seen a bitch stab a bitch in the neck. Stab a nigga in the neck, and this shit coming out like, like, like a nigga pissing out his neck like this. 
that boy just walking like this, like. He was following the lady. She was like, I'm telling you, funny, stop him. Hit that boy in that. I think I was like 10 years old when I seen that shit. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> shit like that, bro. I was like 10 years old, bro. Who asked for this water? I was like 10 when that shit happened, bro. <laughs> Like, and then over time, we used to be like, we had the uh, smash and grab us, right? Like, say, uh, when tourists come in town from out of town, they'd be in their uh, they whips or whatever. You know, we used to know what they tags was different and things like that. So a nigga catch that, we had to stop up, man. Stop up, man, to walk up, like, across the street, like his leg hurt or something. Slow the car down. Nigga slow the car down. They looking at, y'all know what up? Nigga looking at the car in front of him. But he come from the side with his ball plug, bust the window, whoosh, get the purge. <laughs> shit, going through the project, bro. This shit to be scandalous, bro. <laughs> I think Overtown niggas is the reason that the lights flash like this yellow at night. Because you can't sit at that light at night, we come and get you. <laughs> Feel me? <laughs> In real life. Ask you a couple questions. Talk to me. Um, when did you first start this business? Hold on. Eating a good old concrete. I've been out here about seven years now, eight years, right here on the same corner. So, being feeding the community. It's my hood, I love it, so I do it with a passion. You already know. We over time with it. 16th Street, third act. You know what I mean? It's a real passion over here. You see the family. You know what I mean? What inspired you to do barbecue? Man. It's a art. It's a real art, man. You know what I mean? Everybody love it. Everybody get together when you cook barbecue. That's how you bring everybody together. If you ever want to see a crowd, cook some good barbecue. You'll see them coming. Good intended. Bones and all. Alistair comes through. Whatever, man. Come through and check us, man. 16th Street, 3rd Ave. What type of sauce that is? You know, it's a good mix up. It's the secret one coming with it. A lot of people think it's cattleman, but I do my own little twist to it, you know what I mean? So it's called shake sauce that. What do you see inside this neighborhood on a regular basis? Love. I told you, this food brings people together in a good way, you know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing but love over here, man. That's why I'm here. Born and raised here, man. Jackson Hospital right on 19th Street. Ain't nothing but love over here, man. Like I said, we on 16th Street, 3rd Avenue, Overtime, man. Shake and taste spices. No, no, I'm gonna lie, baby. Talk your shit. Let me right. know who you, you are. You already is. know this is. T4L, China for life. You better know it. This is where we at. Y'all niggas know, cut you up on the block though. Look at the setup though. Look at that nigga, nigga, nigga get you right, bro. Like, yeah. See, y'all would have seen his work if he was here earlier. I would have been looking like him, but this ain't his work. You know what I'm saying? But I got a show on the 28. This, this ain't no mop. Work. This ain't no mop either. I'm an old <laughs> head. I ain't no jit. I, this, this cocaine, <laughs> goddammit. I'm from the cocaine era, goddammit. Cocaine God era, yeah. yeah. I'm a cocaine me. baby, goddammit. If it ain't white, it ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't hard, you scarred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
In real life. They call that bunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you from Miami? They you know what that is. We call it dirty, lace, boom, mm. milk and cereal. Mm. <laughs> All that good thing. You feel me? See, because this, this plane got some passengers on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a car. He had an airplane. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't know AP. Yeah, I don't want no AP. And uh. hey, he tell me, um, pick, nigga say, boy, that AP? I say, yes, yeah, AP. All powder. <laughs> <laughs> This won't even light. Oh, man. Bottom, <laughs> yeah, you see how yeah, that boy give me all the dirty joint tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> how to roll the poop joint. <laughs> Real no, my dog shit. finna roll the big boy though. I'm yeah. a, you know. <laughs> you rolling the little dog. I, my, I, I, my, my, my tax break it ain't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas level to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it level to this shit, huh? Some people be upstairs, some people be downstairs. This is how niggas smoke together in Dade County. They roll their own joint. <laughs> they roll their own joint, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. <laughs> All that passing. Yeah, nah, they don't do that. Don't hey, let me hit that. Wing. Got your own J ride right here, you feel me? Hello? Oh, she know how to drive? Oh, shit. 16th Street, 3rd Avenue. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. Uh, how old you were when you first started uh, cutting hair? Shit, like 12 years old. But I ain't really do it consistently as a as a as a livelihood till I got out of prison when I was I was 23. And um and you started cutting in prison? No, nah, you know, I always, oh, yeah, always cut in jail so in prison. So, but, so technically, but because you said by 12, so but I ain't wanna do so none of that in that. prison that good. Okay. But, but yeah, but before that, but I ain't never take it serious. I had the scare and all my dogs knew I could cut, but I wanted to rob steal, bust and hide. You feel me? Wanna Try to that, sell dope that, that or smoke all that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, so, so like, I didn't, I didn't take barber and shit. I didn't even, I didn't even know the value of, of these clippers and this, this, this gift, you know? But I ain't gonna lie, but, I found some clippers in Daytona one year in the hallway. And I grabbed them shit like, okay, boom, 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 let me get this here. Came home after they told him my homeboy, hate your homeboy Eve, so they called the street. They like, man, I need a haircut. I say, I got some clippers in the crib. They like, give me a haircut. I'm like, all right. And I ain't never cut oh, hair yeah, in my yeah, life, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> never cut hair in my life, bro. I'm like, hold on, okay, go like this, go like that. <laughs> okay, but we'll go right back. Now you know I got the whole second floor of the chain. I'm open, nigga. With the radio right there. Yeah, <laughs> cutting the nigga ass up. But I ain't go to school. My dog went to school for that shit, though. Ain't it? Ain't she went to school? Yeah. See, so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You take it to a number, another level when you go to school for it. And basically, I've been cutting over time, over time for quite some years. I'm not an original town. I ain't gonna claim false claim of fame, but I love overtime. I give you a stop. I've been sweating over time. I give, I give him overtime stop right here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all see it? I'm up gonna give him his four life stamp right now, y'all. Look. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. I'll be right here with it, because I got my people spoiled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they spoil. Go a little like too far. They don't want. They don't want to. They don't want to go to you, past uh, a, a, a damn three mile radius. They yeah. <laughs> yeah, want to stay in the hood. But we gonna figure it out. And what would? How, how would you say it's like? What does it take to survive in Miami? Shit, man. Pretty much what it take to survive anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? With this type of atmosphere. There's a lot of, I would say, a lot of tolerance. Not, not tolerant. You gotta have some. You gotta have a, a sense of indifference. Like you gonna become indifferent and nonchalant about a lot of shit. And you need to be not really affected by a lot of, you know, by a lot of the catastrophe and the, you know, atrocity that you witness and go through and all that. Stuff. It's gotta be resilient, man. And always know it just ain't never over, man. You know what I'm saying? They go, they go 40 right there. That boy original, original talent from the block I'm, right there. I'm the youngest, you biggest, fail. hottest rapper alive. Man. <laughs> I'm finna blow up in a minute. Me and Pick finna do a song, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. You, know? you got some tuned. bars. You got some bars for us right now? No, I don't got no bars for y'all. Shit, this shit ain't free. I've been doing this shit too long for free. I'm trying to get paid, no? 
I'm trying to get out this shit. I ain't trying to be in it. I'm trying to get out of it. All Money right. is everything. Shit, that's the movement. All right. And so, how you feel about like gentrification? Uh, people buying up all the. All right, look, I'm gonna I'm have a lot of um, a lot of quote unquote my people mad at me for this shit. But fuck that because my people ain't ain't, ain't whatever language you speak. with it's about what you know where your heart at and where your soul at. But a lot of gentrification happening in Miami is not like everywhere else. Like it ain't really the crackers. It ain't really the the crackers crackers like gentrifying shit. It's the it's the cracker chicos. It's the it's the privileged. You know what I'm saying? The privileged. You know, financially well off. You know, Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? And that's really gentrifying most of it, cause it ain't really no, it ain't really no white American people in Miami, or anything white you see nine times out of ten is gonna be Spanish. You know what I'm saying? But you know, but you know, it's it's a lot of frustration. Like I say, man, I gotta be careful what I say because. Cause you got, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have the Latin people wanna kill me, call me all oh, traitor, all oh, this thing. Nah, I ain't saying nothing bad. I'm not putting nobody down, but I'm seeing what, the, what the system is over here. The privilege in Miami is not a white privilege; it's a Spanish privilege. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of the Spanish community, they not really humble enough to even, at least like, you know, look at that for his, in its real sense, like how privilege they are you know what I'm saying no matter what they want to talk about the struggles that they go through and claim nah man man this shit go back and then we got to take it back and we got to take it more back and take it back man to where it come down to motherfuckers a uh, 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 one set of minorities thinking they, they they better than another set of minorities right all of a sudden right because now they got political power they got a lot of you know they got influence in this city you know, and it's a lot of hypo hypocritical shit. Like, all this time and all this history of so-called Hispanics in some type of way was, you know, in some type of way, shit, we black, we just like y'all. But at the same time, you come to see, a lot of them don't really feel like it. A lot of them feel they above, and a lot of them really, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they straight up racist, man. And that's really all the gentrification that's happening in Miami. It's, it's being done by, you know, nine, nine times out of ten, the Hispanic population, you know, and the ones with the money and the influence, you know. And I ain't hating on nobody. Everybody got to come and make a living. Everybody got to come and make a living, you feel me? And everybody do go through a struggle. But you can't come to a place where there has been centuries, centuries of, 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 of all type of history. And then, and, and then at, come with no attitude as if, oh, well, well I don't know, but we just got to get y'all the fuck up out of here because... Y'all don't, this is what y'all do to y'all neighbors, we gonna clean this shit up. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like that, man. It's a whole lot of reasons why shit's the way it is. Like, motherfucker, we know why it is what it is. And it ain't no such thing as, oh, that's over with. That ain't no fucking ain't. Because it's a residual effect of all this shit. There's a book called The, the William Lynch Code. That's the cracker that they named the lynch mob after when they used to lynch, you know what I'm saying? Lynch niggas and shit. And that cracker said it how even 100, 100 years after the, the, the state was to ever get freed, they were still going, he explained this whole process. You know, the whole process. He said they will never be free. This shit is embedded. Like, man, you know, man, stop, man. It's a, it, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to stop because this, I mean, it's just really the reality, bro. And it ain't even about being a cryberry or cop and not making this use or not, but nah, we just can't. Man, don't sit and ignore how, what the fuck happened, you feel me? And why we in a position that we in, so we so vulnerable to these changes. You get what I'm saying? There's no other group of people in America that's so vulnerable. To, look at the type of changes. They destroying communities, like moving whole generations of history and communities, just displacing them, you know? And like, you know, it's just fu it's fucked up, bro. They ain't wanna be that whole shit. They wanna do number kid in the center drugs anyway, then nah, bro, but okay, but if you wanna look at that, see, then, then that shit got a history to it, and that shit got a, uh, it was it was strategic. All that shit was strategic, man. Y'all know what the fuck happened. Appreciate but you, But I'm man. done talking for the day, man. Bless up, love. My name's Special Ed. Special Ed 787, 787 the area code of Puerto Rico. I ain't gonna never deny my roof.
Yes, sir. But um, y'all bless up. Come get your hair cut by him. Yeah. He not cut my hair multiple times and he never seen to film. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Talk that shit. Act that you nigga some shit. He been here. That nigga been here since I was. He was like this here. That boy was like this here. Fucking with me. Now look at him. And that grown man, boy. So wh what do you see here on a day-to-day -day basis? I just see my people doing what they do best. Selling, giving haircuts, selling stuff that, for people to eat. For me, just people chilling on the block, talking with their people. Just stuff that they do. Mm -hmm. So w what is it like in Miami? Oh, it's lit. I like Miami. It's a lot of things to do here. Like, it's never somewhere where you can't go, where you can't do anything. There's always going to be something here to do. That's why people call it the tourist attraction, because it's always something to do here. Flag footballs, there's a lot of stuff for kids too. They always giving opportunities for the kids to do youth stuff, like basketball, school. It's a lot of aftercare, it's a lot of football teams that help kids with their mentality and stuff. Uh, I played for a couple of teams and I played in a couple of aftercare that helped me with my um, strength and my mentality. And so, yeah, it's a lot of stuff to do here. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I would say, man, what do you think it takes to survive in Miami? Just, just stay in your lane. Like, don't get out your lane. Just stay, stay in your lane. Don't get, don't talk to nobody crazy because you don't know what they got on them. If you just stay in your lane, be respectful of their peace, and you just watch out for the certain people, you'll be good. Okay, go. Uh, You'll be good. What's the craziest thing you've seen so far? The craziest thing I seen somebody. Um, my mama was out of pass, and I seen somebody on the floor dying. What I just said? You heard me? I just said that. Man, don't put me on no camera. I ain't no camera. I'm in this right here. That's the original. Don't ride a rap here. That's trick, man. Pull a trick over and ask Iceberg. What other nigga name? Briscoe. Fella. They know, yeah, suit. They know chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. They know chat. You are, you are, I do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come get it, man. Nigga finna bust one, nigga. Snap, nigga. Let me hear this shit, nigga. Let me hear this shit, nigga. Bitch, I'm down bad. Tell that bitch get off my dick. 40 acting like Bruce Lee. I swear that bitch that got a kick I ain't never in no cover three. 40 trying to send a blitz through the Tesla back. Autopilot, that bitch drew me to the moon. Free my nigga Kizzy. I ain't know that nigga made the news. I'm the type of Whip and throw the whip and cruise. Met a bad bitch. I just hit that bitch up in the pool. Hit her one time. I'm just trying to show you how 40 move. I'm a youngin', getting money in the trenches. It get slummy. I ain't never paid for pussy, but I gave that little bitch money. I ain't said that it wasn't worth it, but she sucked it to him with dummy. Bitch, I paid it for You can get dead like they did the sun. Ooh, damn. Yeah, y'all yeah, know. Oh, little no. 4 0, y'all yeah, know. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the 4 to the O right there. <laughs> hey, sir. These niggas got some questions to ask you, sir. Talk that shit. They want to ask you. He know all types of shit about the pieces. That nigga can tell them. This nigga listen to exclusive shit. Niggas don't even know. Like, like certain niggas listen to singles. This nigga know songs that's in the albums. Y'all don't even know that album. Hoes in it high, all that. You feel me? Trying to make a couple dollars. You already know. T4 ass shit, man. You already know, man. How old you were when you first met Piccolo? Shit, I knew Piccolo for a long time, man. All of them for a long time, fam. How, how would you describe him? What type of person is he? Local person, you know, you know, a good person, you know, good rapper. You know what I'm saying? He rapping, he rapping Miami, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is, you know. Yes. And what would you say? Uh, how how to survive in Miami? Shit, my business, man. Stay out the streets, you know what I'm saying? My business, you know. Don't get in no trouble. Let's go. Something got to be wrong with me. Look at this shit that get me going. Thought I was getting lit, but I'm sick, bitch. This shit here that destroyed me. The slipped into a coma, but the shit mixed with insomnia. All I need behind me is a trail of victims. I'm a zombie. So gifted, but I'm falling just like the sun in the morning. Could have sworn that I was a son of the father of light and I was annoying it. Can't get right. I love all the wrong shit. I do everybody wrong. 
But wait, I'm entitled. Don't do me no wrong, bitch. Wrong. Better not do me no wrong, bitch. Trying to understand who I'm wired to be. So sick and tired of being tired of me. Know the Bible better than the preachers. Believe it's a seat reserved in that hell fire for me. Five. Feel the heat of the flames already. I did some things and I ain't repenting. I just repeat them a repeat offender. Habit to criminal. My own lifestyle and habit to killing me. Trying to, trying to ignore all the damage by feeling nothing. But the only thing I ain't never feel is numb. I feel every little bit. Just a scary little jits, get who he is, get, uh, hey, stay away from me. Yeah. Ain't no facing fears, ain't no faces fear, huh? Yeah. Um, how long have you known um, Deslock Piccolo? How old you was? I know his mama, me and his mama been friends since I been 16, so how old he was? <laughs> I be 67, so how old he was? I wasn't here. <laughs> That's how long I've been doing it. All my life. Look, that's how long I've been doing it. That's how long we've been my nephew. That's how long we've been friends. Yeah. That's great. That's great. He's a good fella, always. Straight gentleman. Always good heart. People person. Yeah, he always did. Yeah, he's a good people person. Yeah. Um, what do what do you say it takes to survive in Miami? Pay your bills. Keep your place to stay. Ask questions and listen and be organized. I've been here since I've been three years old, and I'm still here and where I'm at, 19 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. You gotta ask questions. You ask questions, listen, and be organized, you don't have a problem. I've been in Miami since I've been three years old. Yeah, I'm raised here. And um, what's the craziest thing you've seen in your time in Miami? Well, since the five years of the virus, it's a whole different world. They put it slow, they slow the people down, they already had germs. It's just more popular now that people, they put the mollies out, they more stronger, the crack, and the people just grab it and be on it. They don't have no control, you know? Mm -hmm. And they don't want no help. Mm -hmm. And um, what would you say is the solution, like, uh, to make Miami a better place in total? Well, they already making it. Every day they make it. That's why the people come from out of town and come here because Miami is a money maker. And it always been. And it's gonna be a tourist town because Miami grow been growing and growing and growing since I've been here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I said it. <laughs> Let it be known over time, 305 Day County. Flow. Original town. Forever. Bows up. What it is, big homie. And chillin', chillin', man. What's your take on, I guess, I guess, uh, the gentrification going on in the O right now? The struggle still a struggle. The struggle is still a struggle. But we got kids out here now. We got kids. They growing up mm. pretty fast. Mm. It's getting stranger though. Yeah. People don't give a fuck. Man, seeing Miami from when you was born to Miami now, what's the difference you, you see now? Look around. Look around. But they building. They building around us. They building around us. We not sticking together. So that's... Why, from the bottom of my heart, the change. Yeah, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be straight, mm -hmm. but it ain't how it used to be. See, back in the day, see, I'm an old school. I had a stroke when I was 16 years old. I was a six-time football superstar, and somebody tried to wipe me out over some hatred. My survivalness, couldn't walk, talk with brain surgery, I'm a living legend, but I watch the people around me fold. They're not strong enough. It's too much hatred. Too much. We need to stick together. Mm -hmm. We need to. And that's going to be so hard. It's going to be hard. Yeah. What do you think it takes to, live, um, to survive in Miami? Stick together. Help one another. Help. Help is the most important thing. Respect. And ask questions. What's wrong with that? 
I'm mm-hmm. very smart and intelligent, but I don't speak unless spoken. And I speak to the young generation because my people, my homeboys in the graveyard, my homeboys in the graveyard. I was I was the less fortunate one. But I understand and I realize and I accept, but I understand too. Mm-hmm. I very much know what's going on in the hood of Overtown. And people come from all other city states to come over town to see what Overtown was all about and how it is today. 2024. But back in the days, 20 years ago, it was magical. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was a lot of crime, but it was a lot of fun on the inside. The hatred, that, 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 that's a big problem in society today. Why the world is changing and the police don't give a fuck. They want us to de- destroy ourselves. They want us to. We're not strong enough. And these young homies out here, the young generation, they, they ride their foreign car with $100,000 jewelry on their neck. But where's the love? Where's the respect? I'm trying to teach you something to get you to where you need to be at, but you ain't listening. Your mind ain't focusing right. I'm living to die, die trying in over time, but I walk with Jesus Almighty Heavenly Father and I never care about what happens at a nigga time. See, I'm from 12th Street. I'm from Town Park. I'm from Four Cent, Rainbow, The Swamp. I'm, from, I'm worldwide. Cass City, Opelika, Brown Sub. I'm talking about worldwide, nationally known, but I'm respected because how I carry myself. Mm-hmm. When I speak to the young generation, they see the little limp in my walk. Don't laugh. Please don't laugh. Ask questions so you can stay out of trouble and stay safe. Yeah, I'm out here. And I ain't going nowhere and I'm going to my respect. But I ain't out here trying to start no violence, no beef, no pressure. I just want to live and die, die trying out here. Niggas hate too much out here. Niggas hate. Get it together. Bottom. We came from the bottom. The city. Opelika, Cass City, Brown Sub. <laughs> Come on, man. What's all this violence going to do at the end of the day? You going to tell. You ain't going to man up. You going to tell. Instead of doing the right thing to keep yourself out of trouble, you tell. Niggas ain't loyal out here. Piccolo, that's my day one. He seen me grow up. He seen the struggle. And I speak to him, and he understand, and he respect. Big homie. Rest in peace. Big homie. Get big homie. Real. This real time. This generation right here. Get it together. You're not getting younger. You're not getting younger. If you're smart and intelligent, don't put it to the side and get out here and sell drugs and try to make yourself look cool. No, it ain't all about that because I see, I understand. 